really whacked out right now because I decided to stop drinking coffee after drinking coffee for a week straight. And I just recorded the entire installation process of the well light assemblies um, with the lens cap on the camera. So, yeah, sorry about that, y'all. Um, it's a uh, it's a pretty straightforward thing to do, uh, but uh, there's four bolts that are sorry four uh, yeah like four bolts that come through, and um, I only have three nuts. So I put one on either opposing side and then one up here on the top. And I was testing the lights out to see which one goes where because they we're going to reverse lamp. And uh, the two turn signals go here and then the marker light here. So um, I went through a series of turning on the headlamps. I'll go ahead and turn on the headlamp. And then go back here. Oh. Got the headlamps turned on. I'm back here, making sure that all three lights are illuminated on both sides, and then making sure that that one in there stays off because that's our reverse light. It's the same length as the one that goes to the marker light, so it's very easy to confuse those. These two have like a black base, so it's pretty obvious that they go together. Um, but this one and this one are very similar in length. So that's the easiest way to determine which one is the reverse. And then I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off and I'm gonna turn on the flashers, the hazards. And we'll go back here and just verify that we're getting two flashers on each case, on each light housing. So it looks like we're all good to go. Um, I just have these few nuts left. Uh, I need to go ahead and put those on the passenger side, finish tightening down the driver's side, and um, the rear light assemblies will be all done. All right, got all the bolts on, and uh, the uh, taillight assemblies are all tightened down and ready for the road. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put this ugly old bumper back on. I'm hoping to get this thing uh, inspected and back on the road soon. And the first thing I want to do is go ahead and get a wrap. I'm probably going to be getting one from Dario B Design, which is a good friend of mine, and he does some amazing work. So um, sometime soon, y'all should see a new color and a new design on here. Maybe not a design, but definitely a new color. And um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to skip recording the process of installing this bumper. I'll just go ahead and give you a video once it's done. All right, so that's all put back together. Got that ugly old bumper back on there. Looks hideous, but it's straight legal. <laughs> Got the uh, the lights in, looking good. Got everything plugged in there. And Got everything all secured in the back. Got the bumper put back on. And that's a wrap. Now she's ready for a wrap, kinda. This bumper really needs some love. Thankfully, Eddie did some work to it already, but I guess it might be ready for a wrap. I don't know. I'm not a wrap professional, so I'll leave that up to the pros. I need to find the uh, side markers and put those in, uh, those little reflectors. And well, that's ugly. Yeah, that's it. She's ready to go. All done. That's a wrap. Today I'm replacing the headlights. They are an absolute disaster. This one is all frosted and, and messed up. There's like a, like um, sort of like a clear coat that's that's starting to peel off of here. And this one had filled with so much water that I had to drill holes in it here, here, and here to allow the water to drip out, uh, which has caused this headlight to stop working. So I'm gonna hook up the battery here and I'll show you that uh, one of the headlights is out. So right now, this is the only one that's working. The side markers are working okay, so I don't need to replace those. I did get a pair of LEDs for the um, license plate lights. They're not lighting up, so I'm gonna replace them. And I went ahead and I got some new Silver Star Ultra bulbs to replace uh, for the headlights. So I'm gonna disconnect the battery, since we're gonna be playing around with the electronics. 
and uh, the removal process on these could not be any easier. You just simply pull up on these two tabs and the, uh, the housing slides right out. I'm going to carefully disconnect this pigtail. This one's already been broken. I've never even played with this, so apparently I'm not the only reckless person out there working on cars. Let's see if with the flathead I can get that, that to, uh, to disconnect here. There's a little tab, but it's toward the inside. There we go. All right. And that's it. Um, simple as that. The headlight housing is out. Now you're going to want to go ahead and, and twist out the... Uh, the side marker light, remove the, you know, twist off the ring and go ahead and pull out the, the headlight. And this is ready to go in the trash. Can't, can't cut straight. This is going to be... Passenger side. Go ahead and get all the wrapping off of that in just a second. And we got the driver's side. Beautiful. Look at that. Nice and fresh and crisp and clear. Brand spanking new. Now, um, the 2003 and 2004, I believe, have a different style headlight. Um, and that is because they use those, um, those little slide out pins to secure the lights. The other body styles, uh, have a have a different style headlight and also the adjuster there is a um, there's a little Phillips star adjuster down there in that adjustment so I, I'm not sure which side adjusts the vertical and horizontal but uh, here's one of the one of the controls is here and the other one is down in this slot here you can hit it with a Phillips head screwdriver and you'll be able to to adjust the um, horizontal horizontal and vertical alignment of the light within the housing so you can get a perfectly aligned light. Now I would go over how to do this, but I don't have enough space here, nor in my driveway, and my driveway is at a slant, so I can't use that. It has to be a perfectly level surface to get the most accurate alignment possible for the headlights. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pop out this other crusty lamp. Crusty lamps. No more. No more crusties. Uh oh, that's not good. That one's cracking. And I had a feeling I was going to have some issues with this. Okay. And, uh,. Go ahead and remove the ring from that. Oh, this one's toast. This one's all busted up. So that explains why that wasn't working. Bye bye, trashy boy. Go ahead and get the wrapping off of this one. Huh. Well, how about that? This one actually has... The light bulb is already installed in here? Yeah. Well, would you look at that? Oh, wow. <laughs> I could have saved some money. Okay. Well, that's cool. And it has a different securing mechanism. So there's like a, there's two pieces there. You've got this, um, I don't know, this thing aligns and, and holds down the lamp. And then you've got this, uh, this outer ring, what does the outer ring do? 
Uh, it doesn't look like much of anything. Okay. So this inner part is the part that twists down. Oh, okay, and then it secures this outer ring. So there's a really good protection. Wow, that, that's, that's a much better design than what comes on the factory one. Or is that the factory one? I don't know. Maybe th this person that had this thing before removed that, that ring. So, well, that saves me some time. So I don't even... I purchased these for nothing. These are probably a little bit better than the, the ones that come included with this lens. But, um, I mean, hey, that frees me up to be able to go ahead and sell this. I'm going to go ahead and put the LED bulb back in. Boom. And then we'll go ahead, clip her back up. I'm not hearing a satisfying click on that. But I'm going to hope that works. And we'll go ahead and clip this guy. And in she goes. Now, now this thing lines up beautifully. No more gaps. And go ahead and slide our pins back in. thing is in there snug there we go okay click those into place and uh, that should do it now it just needs adjusted here and the other one is right down in this hole here to align the light oh, and I forgot to remove the LED from this one silly me Driver's side. All right, so I've, I've had coffee today, so there should be no excuses with my recording. <laughs> Last weekend when I was recording, I had made all kind of errors uh, with my recording, including some footage I recorded with the GoPro only I forgot to take the lens cap off the flipping GoPro. So I lost a bunch of footage and it was just pretty much audio only, which on YouTube doesn't go so well unless it's a podcast. Come on, baby, work with me here. This side is not being very cooperative at all. I'm gonna back this out and Take another look at it. See if I can figure out what's going on here. All right, it would appear that this hole is supposed to line up with that hole, and this plug is supposed to go in, in this hole. So let me see if I can force these into alignment. And the bumper, this bumper is weighing it down. That's supposed to go in there, and then ideally, this is supposed to go into here, and they should all go up together to get in there. Yes, no, come on, stay in there. There we go. Oh, it won't stay, it won't stay. <clears throat> so now this pin should go ahead and align because we've got one, two, and then the third is like midway. That should go in there. I need to get a bolt or a screw or something to go into that hole to hold this up. Like a little shorty like this might do the trick. Alright, so these should have no problem lining up. This, I guess, is the one that's having the problem. So, if I could lift up on this as I'm inserting that headlamp, I might be able to get it in. 
I'm obviously missing some plugs here. All right, let's try again. Not a whole lot of slack on this side, on this side marker. It's a pretty short bit of uh, cable that we have to play with here. Okay. Oh man, the gasket's starting to come off already. Typical Mustang, okay. Yes, that's it. That's it. So apparently this little misalignment that was going on here with the uh, with this this housing that houses the, the lights and the, holds the bumper and all like that um, was misaligned with the fender. So once I put that little screw in there to kind of align this tray with this fender temporarily, I was able to get all three of those little pins in on that back side. So now I'm ready to go ahead and secure this guy. Wow, that looks much, much, much better. Whew. What an improvement. Oh, interesting. So this was like some Euro style aftermarket stuff with these, these white side markers. And this is obviously the factory with the, with the yellow side markers. All right, only one thing left to do. Let's go ahead and reconnect the battery and see if that all worked. Bingo, bango, bongo. There we go. Now we're in business. So that's all set. I just wish these were of the same color temperature. You know, you've got these, this really um, cold LED next to the warm halogen or incandescent. But other than that, she's ready to rock. Only one of the LEDs on the rear is working. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace both. Uh, that way they're, they're matching. Since this is going to be a pretty quick deal, I'm not even going to bother moving the big camera around here or open up the door or anything like that. I've just set my, uh, my LED light up here to, uh, to record this. I mean, this is just really easy. Um, and installation is the reverse of removal. This just snaps into its little receptacle here. So, let's hook up the battery, turn on the lights, and check it out. Oh no! Okay, so this seems to be a wiring issue, not a bulb issue. So, let me see here. This connects to here. Hmm. This is the thing that cops love to pull you over for the most. Oh, you got a tail light out. Actually, you could probably do all of this from inside the trunk. There we go. So you can actually dismount these from inside the trunk and you don't even need to take those, oh, those bulb, these bulb lenses off. Since they're already off, that's the easiest way for us to get to them. But there you go. Now, the cops got no excuse to pull you over. I'm going to throw these junky little LEDs away. Uh, these, these ones are protected inside those lenses and hopefully won't take damage like these have. I mean, these are so full of crust right now. All right, so we got all the lights working. Everything is looking good. I'd say our job here is... Oh, you know what? I didn't check the turn signals in the front. Let's see how. Oh, that's interesting. That what, oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm not gonna hate so much on those LEDs. That's that's pretty flipping cool. 
All right, I like that. I can get with that. I, I don't even know if I should keep saying this. Y'all know the drill by now. Go ahead and like, subscribe, and ding that bell so you can get notifications of further videos. Um, yeah, I'm doing the GoPro thing on the head again. <laughs> Hope y'all like it. I'm trying to give you a good perspective on what I'm working on. Anyways, see y'all in the next one. Bye.